And so let's go ahead and add additional planet. We're going to go inside the object, add object, and we go to create additional planet. So you'll notice it's create second planet and we're located right around this area. If you have a time, hard time select, you can always go in and select to the drop menus. We have it properties for our planet. And uh, what I want to do, it's probably just, you know, maybe bring this planet much closer to us. So let's go try type one. Okay, it's right here. Our planet located. And we can also adjust um, little bit center so let me see it's too far away wrong direction so let's go put it bring around zero okay and let's drop it down from seven you know maybe even five so right here kind of just looking how this it's a quite a large planet you know maybe it's even too close so let me go maybe set about two okay we can just bring here just bring a little bit closer maybe even 0.6 and I probably will rework on this planet a little bit later to the position and see how it will look um, for now this is about probably place where I want to add it. A um, couple of things right here, atmosphere, if you notice we have a planet, um, atmosphere second one, and I just want to take all of this stuff way down. So we'll just reduce any atmosphere effect. So it will create kind of interesting properties. Okay, so it's kind of slightly we can see at distance. Again, if you want to have it a little bit more visible, remember you can always bring back some of this effect. Well, let's bring the planet a little bit closer. Okay, let's go back to the terrain view. Okay, at this point we have our planet. We have um, created the couple of things with planet. Sometimes um, you want to go and reduce overall radius, bring planet closer, reduce radius and increase um, maybe some of the displacement. So it will create kind of unusual, like very rough um, look on a planet. But again, that will be for more close up. Let me go right here. This is will work at right. Okay, let me slightly zoom out I'm just looking right here with these rocks if it's how it will look uh, together let me run this area okay, let's copy this and uh, the planet is look about right uh, you know what I'm I may add even a rings to this planet so we'll see if it will create something interesting effect okay at this time I just want to go ahead and um, let's save camera okay we'll go to render okay so right we're probably a bit too close to this portion of the rocks so let me go stop this one bring it a little bit up 
So I, I want to see this right here. I want to see this kind of rocks formation, but I think it was a little bit too close to the lasso rocks. So I want to remove and uh, pull a little bit away. Okay, our hero mountain. Um, let's go to this high field adjustment. So we'll go inside the terrain and a vertical adjustment and we can bring this maybe even a little bit taller. So let's see, should bring mountain about right here. And let's cover distance one third, so too high. I wanna bring about to this point. Yeah, so we have a nice line going. And uh, normally when I do, I visualize also the lines how it's going. So from this corner, if I have a diagonal and mountain going, it will more pleasant for the eyes as well divide by one third. So if we divide horizontally by three lines, I want approximately this one right here too. So this is about two thirds. So kind of in in uh, mind, just creating layouts. If you prefer, you always can create just a sketch on paper and after try to work that way. Okay, let's, um, we want to work on atmospheres, but just to preview what I want to do, it is just reduce a little bit these values to have um, kind of preview a little bit better on the planet, see what's going on. Let's go take sun and as well maybe add a little bit more this way to reduce some of the shadows, add nice details and bring a little bit lower. So with lowering, we add the shadows to the rocks, add some dimensions, and as well some work with atmosphere. Okay, we'll go to render now. Okay, so right here is render is done. Um, I notice right artifact, so we need to reduce some of the displacement for the on the rocks. As well, this is look okay, but I maybe want a little bit smooth shape. And right here we have one mountain, we can replace it. But overall it's look good without any uh, materials or shader applied. For example, right here we can make sand and the rocks just popping through the sand. So we'll probably go to do this. Um, before we finish this portion of the tutorial, let's go to our terrain for the fake right here. And on displacement, let's put it 0. Point 0 0.05, so we reduce in half, we'll take, and let's reduce overall lead-in scale, maybe 0 0.5, and 0 0.04, so the, just reduce some of the noise, that should work um, well for the rocks, okay, as well right here on our fractal terrain. Same will go on displacement. We'll just take this roughness a little bit down. We have a perlin mix and we can switch this as well to the ridges. So you'll notice it will switch some of the shape for the mountain. So we need to go in displacement and reduce this displacement maybe by 150. So it will should take down a little bit, maybe even Let's take a little bit more down. Too much. Bring back up. Yeah, I think this is about right heel. So I don't want them compete those mountains with our hero mountain, but I would want them complement. And again, if we do rings or many or maybe other stuff, that will have a nice area to expand right here and grow. So we'll have this balance created. Okay, let me go inside also rocks. And we have it stone scale, so let's go reduce down. We have it 2, maybe 1.8, reduce scale and density on this. Okay, right density, we'll just leave it as default. Um, you always can switch seed if you want to try different placement for the rocks. 
and just to compare okay as of the render progressing you can see we do smooth this mountain so it does not compete anymore it doesn't take too much destruction from our hero mountain our rocks is spread but nicer we have it also good view on the hills right here a um, couple things because we have this erosion this is water based erosion or liquid based so we will apply work on materials for this and we can start work on the materials probably next uh, portion of the tutorial we'll start work on materials we can apply right here so we could even add maybe some clouds to this area i'm just looking for compensation because we have it very heavy on the right side so we want to compensate with some details on the or some other stuff on the left side we can create oscillated cloud right here and just place it around this area and how say because it will have some moisture or some liquid in atmosphere because we have this erosion on our main hero mountains and we can start work on materials there by using uh, maps that we produced in a world machine and also we can start work on the terrain around here so let's do this in the next tutorials